Yes, we would love to see you at a match against Michigan. It's at 4 p.m. on Friday. Um, we haven't hosted Michigan at home in three years, so really exciting opportunity for us. And we had some incredible support at our match against Illinois, and we love the crowd. Our team loves the crowd, so we're really hoping to get a big turnout. And um, we're both undefeated going into this weekend in conference, so we're really looking forward to the opportunity um, to play at home again. of 13 straight wins. How does it feel? I'm just super proud of our girls. I think they've done an incredible job with their preparation. I think they've continued to try and improve with each match and really embrace the opportunity. Obviously, we only really get to play or compete in 20% of our season. The other days are practice. So I think for us, just their ability to showcase and show up in the big moment and to just rise to the occasion has been really rewarding for us as a coaching staff. I think Marek, Anisha, and I are incredibly proud of um, the way they're battling through. Um, obviously, two matches in a row where we've lost the doubles point and been able to come back and find a way in singles. So I think it just shows the growth of our team. And also, we've um, won matches at different spots. So people have taken maybe some losses in positions and been able to rebound the next day. So I think it's. Uh, for us, it's really cool to see the growth of each student athlete on our team. Maria was Big Ten Player of the Week this past week. How has she as an underclassman been an asset to the team? I mean, she was an asset last year, and she's continued to be an asset this year. So for us, it's continuing to find ways to help um, Mosh improve and also just looking for ways that she can continue to find offense and get outside of her comfort zone. I think um, over the past kind of – um, eight weeks. She's done an incredible job of trying to continue to look for aggressive opportunities and to just play a little more, um, play with a little more of an offensive mindset when it's time to close out sets. And I think she's been rewarded for it. Kelsey, how would you describe the makeup of this team, the strength of this team? I think the strength of this team is in their unity. It's in their identity of playing for something bigger than themselves. And I think it's in their competitiveness. I think if we lose a first set, I think we're hungry to find ways to get back into matches. And I think that they play best when they're playing for each other. And I think they play best when they're playing for Wisconsin. So it's, it's really cool. It actually gives me chills talking about it because I mean, to have a team that is so committed to each other, so committed to the process of getting better and just really enjoying the fight and the battle, I think makes a huge difference in those tough moments to find ways um, to look for solutions and to not back down when maybe we're in uncomfortable positions or the other team has leads. Coach, what's the scouting report for Michigan and Michigan State this weekend? Great question. Michigan. Uh, I believe has six ranked players, so a ranked player at every single position. So obviously a tough ask. They finished second at National Indoors, and I believe they defeated uh, Michigan State this past weekend in their rivalry match 6-1. So, I mean, also obviously coming off um, a really maybe one of their best seasons in program history, I think they've done incredibly well. I think we really respect Ronnie and Taryn and what they've done at Michigan. But I think for us, getting to a chance to play them at home, um, we're excited. I think like you, you can't pass up opportunities to play teams that are top five in the country. And so for us, it's just kind of viewing it as an opportunity. Then Michigan State's always extremely competitive. I think they are excellent at being crafty and finding ways to um, put themselves in position to be successful. So I think it's just making sure that we're locked in on one match at a time and really taking, you know, each moment as it comes and just trying to play our type of tennis. Home, being home this weekend too, with two duels, I know um, you're undefeated in Big Ten play, but how important is it to be at this kind of point in the season and be able to have this at home? I think it's the best position we possibly could have asked for. I think the Big Ten did an amazing job with our schedule this year. Um, no, we just sometimes you get lucky with a Big Ten matchup. Sometimes you know it's you're traveling early. Sometimes you're not. I think for us it's been really nice. We had uh, the bulk of our travel was in January and February. So to be at home for spring break and to be home kind of during the past. Um, 
four or five weeks, I think has made a huge difference in our ability to recover and just, um, we have like an amazing uh, support staff in Marcus Wells, our athletic trainer, and uh, Tommy Inkra, our strength and conditioning coach, to just have this time as like a building block too and be able to sleep in your own bed. I mean, that's incredible. So I think we feel really fortunate to be in this position, um, but I think like we're excited and we're hungry. Um, this is going to be a little bit of an out of the box question. We are checking in with Badger, Wisconsin Badger coaches and staff and, and student athletes. Um, looking ahead to new schools entering the Big Ten, particularly the other UW, the University of Washington. Any thoughts on us being UW and a new UW coming into the conference? And, and should they change change their moniker? Do we need to call? Do we need to start referring to ourselves as the UW? Such a great question. I think being from the Pacific Northwest, um, it was infuriating to me as a badger that what comes up first on the Google search is always Washington. So if there's any way somebody could, you know, drop some dollars to Google to get us as number one, I would really appreciate that. I think that's our first step. Kelsey, is Michigan beatable? You know, I think college tennis has, has um, had some interesting results this year. And I think we really believe in our ability to put a quality product out there, and then I think it comes down to moments. So I think if we take advantage in moments, I think we know they're going to be a really tough team to beat. I think if we look back at our past results, we've uh, had some opportunities and we maybe haven't been able to capitalize, Andy. So I think for us it's important to just know when the moment has arrived and know we need to take it. And I think that that's if there's going to be a way through Michigan, it's going to be through the big moments. And I think for us, we're going to embrace that and we're going to be prepared. And then we just have to let the chips fall where they may. And I think it's a big weekend for us because it's not just Michigan, it's Michigan State and it's senior weekend. And we have three incredible student athletes that we're honoring in Sinu, Rosie and Alina. So I think it's obviously for us just even more special to end this weekend with obviously um, two great teams, but also, you know, capping off three student athletes careers at Wisconsin as well.